Michael Bluck is in London. He's a nuclear engineering uh, expert at Imperial College. Uh, Michael Bluck, thanks for joining us on TRT World. Now, you may have heard some of Hiroko there. She said that uh, people are concerned about going back because of the safety. Now, how safe is uh, the area of Fukushima? I think, I think th th there are two parts to, to, to safety. I think there, there's, there's the physical safety, which I think is probably quite well established in the areas that they're talking about repopulating. Um, I think then there's the not inconsiderable issue of, of, of the mental health because of the perceived dangers of radiation. And there's a very big disparity between the real dangers of radiation and what we perceive it to be. And that's a very difficult thing to get over to a population. Absolutely. I mean, uh, in your opinion, in, as an expert in, in, in nuclear energy, I mean, is there a real danger of radiation following what happened uh, in 2011? Um, well, I, th I think there has been considerable monitoring and considerable remediation, removal of topsoil and so on. And, and it's probably the most closely, carefully monitored area on the planet in terms of radiation. Uh, and I think, I think it's certainly below um, measurable health effects. Now, that's not to say that the, 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 the monitoring shouldn't con continue, but I think there are issues with environmental groups who are expecting the impossible, who would assert that um, the, the people should not return until the, the, the radiation is below one millisievert per year. And that's, no, that's not true anywhere on the planet. So I think, I think, I think, it, it, I think it probably is safe to go back. Um, I don't think there would be a problem with that. But I think it's convincing people that that is the case. That's the challenge. And, and how do you think that the authorities should try and convince people to go back? I mean, of course, in many people's minds, they'll be thinking of things like Chernobyl, where, of course, that place was completely evacuated and has now been sort of capped to stop any radiation leaking out from there. So there are concerns, aren't there, that people have a very real concerns? That's, the, 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 that's right. The, 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 the public are not behaving irrationally. They may, the, the decisions people are coming to may not be correct, but let's be clear, they're not behaving irrationally. Um, but they have been told initially to get out of an area um, uh, due to radiation hazard, and now they're being asked to go back. And of course, that's always a difficult thing. If it was dangerous, there's a concern it's still dangerous. And, and, and that's not an irrational uh, uh, consideration. It's not. Like Chernobyl, the, the, the release was far less than Chernobyl, um, and, and, and so they're incomparable in those respects. Uh, it's a much more controlled environment than Chernobyl is. Uh, and earlier, uh, Michael, you mentioned the clearing of topsoil. Now, how much concern should people have of sort of being able to grow food? And I understand there are, you know, contaminated uh, boar in the area that have obviously been uh, taking up the radiation and obviously wouldn't be safe to eat. <laughs> yes, I think I think this is uh, um, nonsense. Essentially, the, I think I think radioactive bore was that uh, was just a, a tagline for, for 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 a journalist to add on. Um, there are lots of bore there. There's as as at Chernobyl, there are lots of wildlife. It's a, it's a hive of of diversity, um, but but there's no no evidence that these 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 wild boar are radioactive, and and indeed. There, there are strict, um, from any food that's coming from the Fukushima prefecture, has a strict requirement um, to contain radiation one-fifth of that allowed anywhere else in Japan. So, you know, they're, they're, they're really you know, arguably going too far. Please bear in mind that a banana is radioactive as are Brazil nuts, as are many other things. And to say something is radioactive, it'd be easier to say what wasn't radioactive. OK. Uh, and then finally, then, to put you on the spot, Michael, if you were from Fukushima, would you go back? Um, yes, I think I would. In fact, I'm visiting Fukushima in, 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 a, in a couple of weeks. So um, no. But I suppose it's a different thing to say, would I live there? Uh, I, I would have no reason not to. Uh, I, I have a home in, in Cornwall, in, the U, in, in Devon, in the UK. That's a well-known increased radiation hazard because it, it's built on granite. And there's nothing I can do about that. And everyone in, in the southwest of England is very happy about that. Oh, they certainly are. We should get that message out to more people. <laughs> Michael Bluck, thank you very much for joining us.